here doing another staycation vlog here in Galveston, Texas. We've been to Galveston before to make a vlog, but it was all about the spooky side of Galveston. It was a haunting tour, yep. and it was about the history of the Galveston storm. But today, we're gonna do more of a summary. Summary beachy trip. So since we've been here a few times, we have been around Galveston a lot, but today we're actually gonna be going to the Strand and going into some of our favorite places. And we're also gonna be checking out a new store called The Witchery that Jenna's been wanting to go to. And then after that, we're also gonna go into some of the buildings around Galveston that are historic and that we've actually never been to ourselves. So the Strand, or the Strand Historical District, is located in downtown Galveston and is home to a bunch of old Victorian buildings that now house shops and restaurants and stores. The Strand is just a really cool place to walk around, go into the shops, go shopping, and also just paying attention to the buildings around you. I honestly don't look too much into the windows because we did do that walking tour and it feels very haunted sometimes, but it's just such a unique place to walk around and overall it doesn't scare me that bad. But our first stop that we're gonna do, historical building, a beautiful building that I've never been into before, is St. Mary's Cathedral Basilica. accidentally walked in on a service which or right before right service. before the service but wow this is this is probably one of the most beautiful churches we've seen in Texas um, we did go to Schulenburg to visit the painted churches around that area which if you, if you haven't seen that video go, go check, check it, it out. out but this is the most beautiful church we've seen in Texas we haven't seen every church in Texas either so we're on a mission, but this is absolutely stunning. There's a lot of light blue accents that really stood out to us. The stained glass on the sides. Just a really well put together church. Yeah, I really like the dark wood with accents of lighter colors and paint. It just looks wonderful. But now we're going to go to some other places on the Strand and do some other stuff. And now we're currently headed to the 1984 Galveston Opera House. So let's go. I don't think it says it's it says there's construction. I don't know, let's go ask. Which it isn't. Well that's unfortunate. Bummer. I wanted to check this out. Yeah, it's like Oh yeah, it's tied on. Page door entrance. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hit it up. <laughs> we like ring a thing, we're like, uh we're performing tonight at two <laughs> tonight at AM? <laughs> Definitely says no trespassing. I guess that's why there's no one performing. I looked it up and there were no tickets online for the next like three or four months. I'm sorry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> around this corner and there's a ticket on my car. He's gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. No ticket. So now that we've been locked out of the opera house and got some coffee in us, we are finally gonna check out the witchery.
we've been walking through a few stores and got yelled at in one of them. So we haven't been recording too much. Now we're kind of scared. But right now we're going to be going to the beach, which we're super excited about. We, have, I, we haven't been to the beach probably a year and a half. Yeah, probably so. It's been a while. So we're going to eat our lunch on the beach and, you know, in helicopter. See you there. We're finally headed to the beach. I'm super excited because I love the beach, I love the sand, and I love the water. Andrew's super excited because... I get to eat lunch. I am hungry. I mean, it's only a peanut butter and jelly and some almonds, but man. So Galveston Island is an island off the southeast coast of Texas, and it's about 50 miles from Houston. The island itself is only 27 miles long and about three miles wide, but it does take about 45 minutes to drive from one side to the other. So Galveston kind of gets a bad rap because the water is not the prettiest, okay? But there's so many other cool things to do in Galveston, so if you're just coming for the water and you're judging it off that, yeah, we know it's not a Florida, we know it's not the Bahamas, but it is a beach and not everybody gets to live near the beach. So I'm pretty thankful for it. Regardless, we're gonna have a great time enjoying our lunch on the beach. We made it. What are you eating today, Jenna? I brought some tuna, some rice cake to put the tuna on, some carrots, and the best part, some peaches that we picked from Fredericksburg. Which is in our last video, by the way. You should go check it out. These are pristine peaches. I Andrew, have... what's your workout routine? I don't have one. What's that scent that's getting wafted towards me? <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> bath water because it's very very warm but pretty enjoyable you don't have to jump into freezing waters or anything yeah only five people a year die from a shark attack <laughs> but <laughs> sun-kissed and golden. I'm just kidding. I'm as white as my shirt. You're wearing a shirt? Anyways. We hope you enjoyed our small tour of Galveston. Obviously there's so much more to do than just the things that we did. Like Moody Gardens, Pleasure Pier. Um, but keep in mind that we are on a budget. Yeah. We did want to bike around but um, some of the bike rentals were really expensive. Like $20 for an hour seems a little bit crazy to me. But it's okay. The beach was really, really fun. Yeah. And overall, it's just a good date day. So thanks for watching this video. We hope to have some really cool videos coming up. So stay tuned for that, especially once we come into August. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.